Hi everyone, so this is a quarter wave ground plane antenna for 20 meters. And right here, I have a BNC uh, banana adapter with four 60 and a half foot radials. And these radials are floating in the air and they're hooked up with these um, metal spikes and they're measured uh, approximately 16 feet and a half and there's four of them there's one that goes over there and another one that goes over there now that direction is south that direction is north and there's the sun which is more of a southern direction and yes there is another wire now the height over here i would say it's about seven feet yesterday i was more over there and that was at eight feet uh, the radiating element is also 16 and a half feet and half an inch approximately and what i did was i have this um, weight um which is uh, four trees you know the this line is kind of like a paracord it uh, is meant more for the um, arborist and so i throw the weight over and then i tie it to one of those spikes there and that line goes all the way to the top of the tree so I throw it over and then from there I lift up the antenna now this wire um, is uh, I want to say is 14 gauge it's not very thick as a matter of fact this is a leftover wire from uh, an earlier antenna a, 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 a dipole that never worked for me um then over here we have uh the coax cable and it has a choke just in case if there's any common current let's follow the coax to the ic705 <clears throat> So right now, the band is really active. It's on a Sunday. It's a 438. The bands haven't been very great this week, but the antenna is doing awesome right now. And it's, and it's really working very hard. Now, if you look at uh, hammers here, and let's say, let's look at some of the things that I've, uh, uh, been <laughs> kind of um, uh, having contacts. Somebody from Brazil I just spoke to right now. Maritime, a Poto person in Georgia. Uh, this one, I don't remember. VE. The VE station. Uh, where's that at? Calgary. Wow, okay. Uh, then this is a Japan station that I did yesterday. Pretty amazing. And look at the uh, look at the signal reports. Five nine. Now that one was more over there. That one was at that hill point. But uh, very similar to where we're at right now. Uh, the KN. I believe that one was in Newport Beach, which is only a few you know like 20 miles away right now we're in anaheim ti2 this is costa rica that was pretty amazing lw that one is i don't know where that one is from lw lw is buenos aires that's amazing uh and then the ce which is a duplicate and let's see where's that one that one is also Olia Santiago, Chile. Yeah, pretty amazing. Chile, Brazil, 
uh, Japan, uh, Canada, all that from this uh, quarter wave ground plane antenna. And of course, all this was through the IC705, but a major player here is the MXP50M uh, amplifier. Right now, it's amplifying uh, about 30 watts. Now, it's not really truly 30 watts that's being pumped out all the time, right? It varies depending on your voice. Um, and of course, it's not going to be completely 30 watts. And that's because there's going to be some ground loss and some cable, uh, you know, the coax cable loss as well. Now, what I'm going to do here, let me see if I can find the pictures here of um, of this particular here it's right here let me show you so this is a um, i have one of those rig experts i have the uh, the, the small one the stick and as you can see uh elevated about uh, again about seven to eight feet i have at the lowest point you can see right here at oops at 13.92 megahertz i have an swr 1.4 not bad and, and you can see that um all the way to 420 440 right that's past the band we are below two to one and at 14.121 megahertz the impedance is 73 um ohms which is not bad i mean we want to get to 50 swr 1.5 uh the return loss is at 14 to 1. now what percentage is that in loss that's probably more than 10 percent um coming back to the rig um if anybody knows how to calculate these percentages for the return loss i would appreciate it if somebody um can tell me now that is the antenna for today, which is not bad. Sometimes you have to adjust it a little bit. Uh, a lot of the times when you have the, um, if the radials, let's say this wasn't as high. And I've done this before. I've done a few experiments here. If, hey, let's move over here, get it a little bit better in the light here. So if this is much lower, right? If it's not as high, you'll see that uh, it's going to the uh, the dipping the dip or the the most resonant point uh, in the SWR graph is going to be pointing more to the left, which means uh, it's longer. And then I have to shorten the antenna even more. I think what's going on is as this goes down. And if the radials, right, are drooping, then uh, I guess the antenna is feeling more uh, longer. As for the cost of this antenna, really inexpensive. The banana plugs are not really that expensive. You can probably get them uh, used at a swap meet or any other place that uh, sell these. These are less than five dollars and then the wire some people have wire laying around and it doesn't have to be 14 gauge it could be speaker wire uh, i've done it with speaker wire as well and sure enough it's it does a great job for the price um i can tell you right now and we're going to go over here and look at the spike over here for the price it's well worth the effort in building one of these um I'm getting way more performance than my high-end fed, uh, end fed half wave antenna from the Netherlands. Way more than my um, uh, uh, communion uh, and pass light. Um, and then also my body pole mini. Now, all these three have different advantages and different purposes and uses. But if you want something inexpensive and you want to try this out with no other equipment, I mean, you do need the tree, you do need a, 
a wire uh, and some some pins um, to spike to spike down the line which would be great one other thing too that I want to mention here this is not a true quarter wave ground plane this has to be higher actually this uh, this uh, point here I think it has to be a quarter wave high which would be in uh, 16 feet which would be another 10 feet higher and then these radials would have to be tied to a line maybe one day I can throw the line 33 to 35 feet up, up in the air but for now um, getting these contacts these DX contacts is pretty interesting one other factor too you might as well uh, find out what what's going on over here I'm on a hill I'm elevated at least 322 feet well that's what Gaia GPS tells me I'm about 322 feet and I you can barely see it but there's some water fresh water this tiny little lake that uh, is there now that little lake right there is probably not going to make a big difference and it's not it's not like I'm really close by uh, but I am near the water there is a freeway that's over here on that side but that doesn't seem to uh, uh, bother the um, the antenna oh th these um, these lines here these radials again I, I, I'm, I'm sure I mentioned it they are pointing northeast northeast or north south east west but they need to be parallel i'm sorry perpendicular to each other Duh. they need to be perpendicular because if they're not um then it's then it's not the classic definition of a uh quarter quarter wave ground plane antenna and there's only four radios isn't that crazy okay so um i hope uh that was uh, informative Please uh, consider subscribing if you like this content. Please uh, give it a, a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, I'll see you later. This is Frank Whiskey, Charlie Zero Oscar. Bye-bye.